What's up everybody so in this video we're going to take the stickers that we had taken from in photoshop from our reference images and now we're going to use a, a technique called um planar projection uh to stamp them onto our asset here in painter so first things first is we want to take the stickers that we had created we want to drag them put them into our project so i just have it in my project folder here and then you want to just Define these in, as textures, and then you want to put it into the project. Back to project, and now you're... All right, so now that you're in here, go to your layers. We're going to add a fill. And in the fill, we want to add a mass. So I'm just going to right-click on it on this layer, add black mass. And then I'm going to go to um, add paint. Select the paint layer, and I'm going to go to um, selection here. And we're going to select polygon. We're going to select uh, the body. Cool. So now we're going to go back to the fill layer here. Select that. We're going to turn off everything but height and color. We're going to drag this sticker on into the base color here. Now you're going to see it's all weird, right? It's kind of being pasted on, uh, not correctly, right? So it's because when, when you scroll up here, you're going to see it says UV projection. You want to change this to planar projection. Okay. And then we're going to also turn off back face culling. What we're going to do is now we're going to rotate. And then we're going to scale it. So R just back. And then we're also going to say UV wrap. We're going to say none. Right. And then now I'm going to press W here to remove it. Bring it up a little bit more to where we want it. I'm going to look at my reference image here. Um, I'm going to scale this down because it's big. That um, kind of skewed a little bit. I want to strain that out. There we have it. So we have that where it needs to be and then for the other sticker that we had created we're going to do the same thing um so what i might actually do is i might even put my my logo on here as well uh in the back just brand it a little bit and i make it a little bit more personal a great suggestion by the way um on my youtube videos there at Otari. i'm sorry i was here the answer name um i'm just gonna call this layer um code back here i'm going to add another fill again do the same thing add black mass go to paint select body go back to the layer turn off all this for the code thing um i'll do that later sidetracked here uh go to base color drag it over there you're going to see that's not correct scroll up go to planar projection uh go to repeat none then want to Rotate here and then turn on angle step is good, 45. But I don't see it. it's not actually doing this step. step. Turn it on, but well, I think it's just shift. Hold shift and it'll, and it'll angle it. Go press R to scale down here down um, and then R again scale it so picture put there have it okay so we have this height so I'm gonna go back to the, the layer here we have this height here I'm gonna bring the, the light closer and uh, I'm gonna bring this height see how this height is gonna Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna kill the height. The height's actually kill the height on here. But yeah, there you there you have it. That's uh how you could use um planar projection. Uh it's just an easy way to kind of stamp stickers and decals and stuff like that to your asset. Oh yeah, whoops. See this. So that's what happens when you have backface culling. I'm just gonna turn off backface cull. Oh. 
so turn turn off or turn on back face culling and that way you don't get it based on both sides so that's a good example right there of why i turn that option off okay hopefully you enjoyed that video if you like it give it a like um subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see this type of content and leave a comment down below